Sometimes we welcome back to We let's, did not uh, sing. Oh, we didn't sing. Dang it. <laughs> uh, hmm. R oh, shoot. I should probably close my door. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, you know. Entertain the peoples. Um. Hmm. Hi, guys. That's all I got for you today. Burgers! We're not, we're not streaming. I don't know why I said entertain the people. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of thinking about that even when I finished saying what I said. I'm like, well, you know. Oh, I can't wait to go back and see that recording. It's nothing, trust me. Like, oh. it's almost literally nothing. You'll see for yourself. Oh, Monty, can you stop get Oh, my God. All right. One minute into this video. Huh. Okay. Um. Did we sync? <laughs> no, we did not. <laughs> All right. Right, left, right, left. Go! <clears throat> Hello, Runner Webs, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations, which may be the finale. I don't know. It just depends on how far we'll go. Anyway, last episode, we pretty much caught ex-Ambassador Alba red-handed, and now we are going to boil his butt. So let's save and do this. I'm Pharaoh, by the way. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot. Uh, did you even, I don't even know if you introduced yourself. I didn't. Oh. Um, let's just do it over. Boop! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations. My name's Skinny Mini. And I'm Pharaoh. <laughs> there we go. Now they know who we are. Okay. If, if they didn't catch it 71 parts in, you know, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like, why does it feel off? It hasn't even been that long since we recorded, so I don't know why I forgot about it. You know, life. Yeah, and, yeah, that's true. And it's us at the same time because, you know... Us. Yeah. 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 Anyway, all right. So the theatrum neutralis lobby at three thirty-three a.m. Ooh, we must be tired. Hell yeah! It's like <laughs> I just like I just want to go to bed. <laughs> Mister Alba, I request that you testify once more. As if there is anything else for me to testify about. I still have yet to fully prove that it was Mister Alba who murdered Mister Cochin. Well, I would like to hear about your movements before the murder, uh, murder occurred. I wonder if you could tell us about what you did here at the Theatrum Neutralis. Very well. I suppose I could tell you about that. <laughs> because about all I did was watch the Steel Samurai show. Stage show. Ow. Hmm. Elaborating on even that alone is good enough for me. The only way for me to place this man under arrest is to pinpoint the exact location of where the murder took place, for that is the key to this investigation. Nope, that was a weird I, I, I was expecting, like, you know, fade to black, but that <laughs> didn't happen that time. Weird. Alright, so, the Steel Samurai Show. I watched from the last row. The stage was well lit, but it was dark out in the audience. I swear I was there in the audience, but it's hard to prove that, I suppose. I do remember the contents of the show very well, though. Is that proof enough for you? Those moving scenes were seared into this old man's heart. I'll never forget them. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> I got a question. Hold on, let me check that organizer real quick. No, we'll check it in a minute. Okay, sorry, go ahead. That's fine. So you were in the theater proper, watching the Steel Samurai stage show, w were you? Of course I was. I have a great fondness for the Steel Samurai. <laughs> yeah! That was pretty cool up there, wasn't I? <laughs> You're not the one who was cool. It's the Steel Samurai who was cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew's fanboy. Oh. Uh. Yeah, and the Steel Samurai special finishing move today was really something, huh? Hmm? Hey, Edgy! Who is she? Who is this super cute girl? Oh, she's been standing here this whole time, and now, not only now he notices her? Her name is Kay Faraday. She's helping me in my investigation. 
sorry I didn't get to introduce myself earlier, but better late than never. Yeah, it's okay. I'm Larry Potts! Silence in the peanut gallery! There is no such... There is no time for such trivialities at a time like this. Mr. Prosecutor, this is a final battle. You got that? I know. This is the end. I was thinking of the lyrics, I totally forgot. <laughs> this is the end. My only friend, the end. For that man there. Ha 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 ha. Now that's the kind of thing I like to hear. Stop. Oh, okay. No, not you. Sorry, the dog. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, my dog's on my bed because he's scared. And he keeps doing this weird licking thing. I don't know if it's because he has heartburn or what. Stop that. Stop. Stop. He, he's doing a mouth. No, he's doing that. <laughs> like he's got peanut butter stuck in it. <laughs> Thank you for that audio cue. Yeah. I think I'll give trusting you a try, Mr. Prosecutor. Or rather, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh. <laughs> I leave this critical battle up to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Have no fear. I will finish the job. This really is the end game. The time has come to expose every last of Mr. Alba's lies. Dun dun. Bridal. Rebuttal. All right, so, um, crap, we probably should have examined the evidence before we did this. Uh, eh, I mean, but. you know. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, the commemorative photo. That's right, he took a picture. I'm trying to think. He got hit, counterfeit plate, videotape, trump cards, um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that we might need to prove. Paper document. Nope, okay. Alright, so I watched from the last row of the stage was lit, but it was dark in the audience. I swear it was in the audience, but it's hard to prove that, I suppose. I do remember the contents of the show very well, though. It's proof enough for you. Can we press on that? The I do remember the contents of the show? Sure. Hold it! Oh, jeez, the hell happened? I tried doing the <laughs> voice and my throat was like, no! And I'm like, okay. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I remember the contents of the show as well myself. That's nice. That's nice! Miles Edgeworth, don't allow yourself to be riled up by him at this important juncture. No. I wasn't planning to let him. Well, if you ask me, I think I'm the biggest little samurai expert around here. And don't think you think that the cinematic scene of today's show is just totally awesome? Climactic scene. <laughs> yes, I remember that. And that spectacular special move. The way you delivered the final blow against the evil magistrate early summer rain jab. Oh, that scene will live on in my heart forever. Is that how it went? <laughs> I totally forgot about that. How can you forget your own special moves? It's a special attack that the Steel Samurai uses when he's using the Samurai Spear. Oh. Yes, and today was the first time they showed it off, was it not? If I hadn't watched the whole show, then how could I answer th answer you with the name of the move? I suppose you are correct, but if you could, if you could, please elaborate on this point for me. Okay, one of the scenes was his ever before some early summer rain jab. I'm gonna press on that. Hold it. Oh, okay, hold on. Press. <laughs> Early summer rain jab was a move that was to be unveiled today. And because I saw that brand new special move, I believe it confirms my alibi. How sad. The only way he's got to protect himself is that he watched the Steel Samurai. I guess this guy really has nothing else left. Yes, and to avoid arrest, you can bet he'll say or do anything. But with all of us here, there'll be no escape for him. Yeah, we'll find a way to bring him to justice. Now then, let's continue with your testimony, Mr. Alba. Oh, yeah. Hmm, very well. The Steel Samurai special move in the various other scenes. The movie scenes were seared into this old man. I forget them. Oh, dang it. I just, I pressed forward. Oh, that's fine. I want to check some. I guess I'll read this. K 
Kay and my uh, Kay and myself are also in the audience of the Steel Samurai stage show. He's got nothing on the Jammin' Ninja, but he was still cool enough, I guess. Oh, I can't do your Larry voice. Uh, <laughs> wasn't my brand new special finishing move totally brad? No, don't tell me. It was you who thought of the special move. Yep. Um, uh, now what was it again? Extremely silly Ray Jam! Was that it? No, wait, it was stubble breaking chop! That doesn't sound quite right. How can you forget a move you came up with? The final piece to Mr. Alba's alibi is that he was watching the Steel Samurai show. However, if he was busy killing Mr. Kojin, he could have he should have not had the time to do so. Right. Uh oh my gosh. I feel like I should have went four so I can do the lines too. I feel bad. Ah, it's alright, it was funny. Uh. I'll probably do the same thing if this is by myself. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> ooh, you're good. Sorry, I'm just looking through the evidence. No, you're good. Um, I don't know if we can present something yet, or if we have to like un, un, not unleash, but um, press on something to unlock it. So, can we go on the last statement and press? Um. Hold on. What was the what was the last statement? Hold on. Okay. Did you do I it? Just, I did the thing again. Oh. It's just, it's, it sucks because it doesn't show you when it stops. Yeah, we got spoiled because in the later Ace Attorney games, they actually have little dots that show you how far along you are into the testimony. Oh, there um, it is. Yeah. So. Okay. So the last statement. Those moving scenes were seared into this old man's heart. I'll never forget them. All right. <sighs> I agree. Today will be a day to remember. Especially when we finally make you pay for all the wrongs you've committed. What? Hey, that's what the Steel Samurai says when he defeats the evil magistrate! <laughs> Actually, that line was just something I ad-libbed! You may act all surprised, but naturally you remember that this line, don't you? Of course I do. I just now understand the evil how the evil magistrate felt, that's all. Then allow me to make you identify with the evil magistrate some more. Oh dang! Hey, then that makes you the Steel Samurai, huh? <laughs> well, if you have to complete this analogy, I suppose then yes. And the inside edge of is like, eee! Oh, yes. <laughs> and I do believe it's about time to bring the curtains down on this with a bang. And oh, see now I got now I can't skip this now I gotta go through it. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, what is it? Is it right now? It says K and myself were also in this. Oh crap! I was skipping oh. it all. Oh, that's fine. I skipped. I, I said. All right. Is it just? It's going slow for me because I, I didn't do this before. Oh okay. Uh, um. Oh wait a minute. We still have. Hold on. He mentioned the spear. Early summer rain jab. Oh, son of a duck. Hold on, wait. I do remember it. The contents one of the early summer range. One of the scenes never were seen. Okay, hold on. What does the description say for the spear? Because he bent it, Larry couldn't do the early summer range. Yeah, mother shoot. So what do we do during that? You present that mug on that statement like ah ah. <laughs> Put a little oomph in that one. That wavelength, though, it's like... <laughs> I know, I can just see it. It's just like, blue! <laughs> oh. The special move today was the early summer rain jab. Is that your final answer? Dun dun. Objection! <laughs> you know, ever watch, you know, when, when you watch uh, Who Wants a Million... What's the show called? Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Uh, I never liked that noise today when the show was done. It's like, Woo! Yeah. Oh yeah, the da! yeah. It kind of freaked me out when I was a kid. They couldn't yeah. come. It, it's like they couldn't come up with any like less subtle noise to, to signify the show's done. Yeah, it was. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. All right. Let's continue. <laughs> All right. You irritating Gannett. 
I know uh, it's Nat. I oh, just is. I, I was I was gonna say. Mm, mm, mm. No, there's a. <laughs> it's Nat. <nasty. laughs> no, there's a there's a TV show. What was it? It's a movie called Veggie. Oh, Veggie Tales. I loved Veggie Tales growing up. I still do. Um, it's, it was from Veggie Tales. Yeah, it, it was the story of Esther and like Haman is. <laughs> Haman's like you are a Gannett. and and Mordecai's like, uh, it's actually. Nat, the G is silent. He's like, are you calling me a Gannett? <laughs> and he's like, no, just pr- correcting your pronunciation. And <laughs> and he's like, are you calling me stupid? And then he's like, uh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's so great. That was, like, one of my favorites. Okay, sorry. Um, You irritating Nat. Do you think you can trip me up by asking the same question over and over? That was not my intention. Your testimony is more than sufficient. However, I believe it would be wise for you to take a look at this. The samurai spear? What about it? This spear actually never made it on stage today. <laughs> sorry. Monty, go. It's like, I'm sorry, did I piss you off, Monty? <laughs> like, that delivery was bad. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, y'all, about these interruptions. Okay, um. That's good. Excuse me? Huh. Unfortunately for you, tonight's Steel Samurai happened to be a, uh, happens to be a goof of a young man with an abundance of useless hot-bloodedness. Huh? <laughs> Sit. Hold on. Having said that... Said useless man bent that spear during his rehearsal rehe- that evening. Kay, do you remember what the Steel Samurai special move was tonight? It was the Steel Samurai Sushi Slash! Uh, 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 Correct. Because he couldn't use the spear, a last minute change was made. Had you really been watching the show, you would have known a move that was used. <laughs> Kyokyo Salba! You didn't watch even a single minute of the Steel Samurai stage show tonight, did you? Uh, 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 huh. So if he wasn't watching his show tonight. Then it opens up the possibility that he was busy killing Mr. Cochin instead. So where were you during the show? I demand an answer now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I laughter. Good job. Good. good. <laughs> and just w- what is so funny? You're so sloppy. And so are your conclusions. I still insist that I watch the show. Or most of it, in any case. What do you mean by most of it? Duh, you see... During the show, I left my seat for a spell to visit the bathroom. I assume that was when the dramatic scene was played out on stage. Uh, uh, That is the lousiest, lamest excuse I've ever heard in my life, pal. Ugh, just because he got the name to move wrong. We can't really use that as proof that he didn't watch the show at all. As a fan of the Steel Samurai, I had wanted to watch the show, an entire show, honest. As a Steel Samurai fan, to someone who wasn't even in his seat for the climax of the show, you have no right to call yourself a Steel Samurai fan, ever! <gasps> Woo! Uh. Wh- who was that just now? Frickin' Larry! Ugh. It would be I, young lady! Larry! What are you doing interrupting me like that? Veggie! Just hold on for a second, I beg! You may never accept this old man as a Steel Samurai fan, but I totally think he's a Steel Samanic. Oh my god. Okay. Um, what exactly is a Steel Samanic, pal? Samaniac? I believe he meant to. S- I believe he meant to say Steel Samurai Maniac. 
yeah! And trust me, I know a real fan when I see one, because I'm the, real, the Steel Samurai! I will never acknowledge you as a true Steel Samurai! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Edgeworth. What are you getting so worked up over, Mr. Edgeworth? It appears that the real sta Steel Samurai recognizes me as a fan. As well he should, for I am a fan. It's not as though I missed the entire show. It was a most amazing show filled with the spirit of the young and the young at heart. Hmm. The sarcasm dripping from his long wooden nose wouldn't run any thicker. Getting his name to move wrong only proves that he didn't watch the last scene. What I really need, need here is just something more definitive. Something that leads Mr. Alba directly to the murder of Mr. Manny Cochin. You know what, Gramps? You're really something else. I'm honored to receive such praise from the Steel Samurai, but w what is it for? Well, I was just wondering how you found out about the early summer rain jab. That moves a bit of a secret only a small portion of the staff know about. Wait, it was a secret? Larry, wait, what did you just say? What the hell did I just say? What did you just say? <laughs> I really gotta learn to speak. Um, oh my god. What did you just say? What the hell did I just say? <laughs> that, that laugh of yours is genuine too. I was like, aw. Uh, wait. Uh, what? Which one? Huh? My crazy loud laugh? The ha ha! Well, the one you just did, like after I said what I said. <laughs> Uh, uh, come here. Huh? Did I say something stupid again? Did you say that the early summer rain trap was actually a secret? Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't have said secret. It's more like we only decided on a name to move right before the start of the show. Right before? Yeah. The stage director was going nuts because we were supposed to debut the move. About five minutes before the show, we threw it up on the dressing room's whiteboard. Early summer rain jab. That's kind of how we decided to name the move. But by that time, I'd already bet the spears, so I guess the whole thing was kind of pointless. All of you still samurai actors are the same. The director has my complete sympathy. So basically, because we changed the move to the sushi, sushi slash, we kind of pretended that the early summer rain jab didn't exist at all. I mean, it'd be bad if someone found out that we changed the moves, so we made it a secret. So basically, a gag order was issued for publicity's sake. It's almost, it almost makes the early summer rain jab sound like a lost art. Yeah, which is why I think most of the staff haven't even heard of the move. Hold those lips of yours still! What the heck, old man? I've done nothing but listen, and from what I can tell, it's all very- it's all very unrelated to the case. It's also very tedious and a pointless exercise in wasting time, much like a kid's show. Mr. Mr. Alba, I believe the one who should be quiet now is you. Oh, dang! How dare you! I suspect that you've already noticed. Exactly what the very severe implications are in this man's testimony. Ha! Huh. So now you're trying to bully me, huh? There are no implications to read into a behind-the-scenes story of a kid's show. Now go back. Don't even think about trying to slither your way out of this, Kirkus Elba. You were the one who said to yourself that the name of the move was Early Summer Rain Jab. But that name was only decided upon right before the show was about to start. So, what are you driving at? But the name of the movie you told us is never used in the show or said aloud. Good. <laughs> now then, would you care to tell us about how you found out the name of that move? Because I can only think of one way you could have known. Kirkus Alba, this is the only way you could have known the name of the special move. <laughs> you thought it up. <laughs> he ain't that smart. Um... I want to say, I th think he probably saw it because, hold on, when did, what's his face, break the, 
the samurai spear. Oh, I can't check it. Because he bent it, Larry couldn't do the jab. Oh, you know what? Hmm. What if, what if he was, his injury, what if it was from that? Maybe. I think he, I think that, okay. I think the answer is he saw it because obviously he thought it up would not make sense. Um, you asked about it. I don't think they would, if it was a gag order, I don't think anybody would say, tell him, even if he is the ambassador. Hmm. And the only explanation well, the only thing that makes sense to me was that he saw it. Okay. So I'm going to say saw it. You knew the name because you saw it. You saw it on the dressing room's whiteboard. Yeah. The staff members who knew were keeping it a secret. So you couldn't have simply gone up to a staff member and asked. Which means the only other option left is that you saw it on the whiteboard. So that means Mr. Alba was in the waiting room at some point, right? But what's the big deal, sir? I don't see what that means. There's another piece of evidence that has a great deal to do with the dressing room. So we can't so we can't afford to let that slide. This is related to both the dressing room and to Mr. Cochin's murder. That just just think like what would usually be in a dressing room. I was gonna say security footage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, da, da, never mind. Oh god, oh bag. Ew, that's what you're trying to get at? Oh. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are mature. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm very, very tired. Um. AKA. Wants to She's tipsy. Excuse me? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just, I'll give you guys a point of advice. Never say that a woman is ever tipsy or drunk because you're probably going to get in trouble like I am about right, right about now. You're lucky I'm not stopping this video. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I kind of want to say... Okay, the only thing that, well, not the only thing, but what I'm thinking is the samurai dogs. Mm. What if he was hungry? <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on, I'm not wait, the samurai dogs? Because <laughs> he's hungry! No, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> also, also, how's it related to the murder? And he's shoving down the throat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, y'all. Um. This is related to both the dressing room and Mr. Cochin's murder. I want to. Uh, I want to say it's back to the 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 knife because of the flowers of that picture. This picture. God, just get out of there. Jeez. Because the commemorative photo. He took the photo, and it has the 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 knife in it. So you, I mean, that's what you would find in dressing room is flowers. Okay, I, I'm not disagreeing with you there. You probably would be able to find flowers, but here's the thing. I don't, when was that picture taken? Because I don't, now I don't remember if it was before or after. Uh, taken at the, oh, the murder weapon can be seen. It doesn't say when. <coughs> uh, um, mm. Okay, then that it can't be it. Um, this is related to both the dressing room and the. So how could how could he have known? Sorry, I'm thinking of this. Sorry, y'all. I'm not quick on this, but I just want to think this through. Well, no need to apologize. How? Okay. How would Kirkus Alba know? about the move you've seen it on the dressing board in the in the dressing room mm -hmm. how would he have access to the dressing room how could he go in there well yeah, I'm not really sure oh wait a minute uh well go ahead what are you saying well 
well, I don't know. Take a look at the evidence. You'll notice that something may bring up the dressing room. It's the push card. Because if the Steel Samurai pushed this to Alabas from the dressing room. And, it's a, and there's blood inside. And so that's how he got the thing to put what's his face in there. There you go. Okay. I knew I'd get it eventually. Okay. Present this mug cart. Take that! The push cart that was used to move the body was right there in the dressing room. Oh, he didn't even show the picture, duh. I, <laughs> God. Deary, Why I, isn't that in evidence? I, I totally forgot, yeah, they even had a picture of the dressing room there. Uh, during the show, the push cart awaited its turn to be pushed on stage in the dressing room. And it was finally pushed there, along with the Iron Infant, in the last scene of the show. And then, right after the show ended, it went into Alabast along with the Steel Samurai. Which means the only time that killer could have placed the body inside a push cart was when a push cart was in the dressing room backstage. Oh, so basically, the killer has to be someone who visited the dressing room during the show. Precisely. Gah! Oh, but wait! What if, and this is just a what if, what if the murder didn't take place in the dressing room? What, what do you mean, Kay? I have to admit, she brings up a valid possibility. During the show, the dressing room was supposed to be devoid of people. Anyone going into the private dressing room would stand out with a sore thumb. But despite that, the killer still managed to move the body without the with with the push card. Correct. And it is because of the setup of the, of the theater's dressing room that it would be the ideal location for the murder of Manny Cochin. Helkis Alba, during the show, you went down to the dressing room, and I want to know why. Yes. Yes, I was there. I went into the dressing room. I knew it! I'm placing you under arrest right now, pal. You got that? Arrest! Objection! <laughs> Sorry if I was peeking there. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Hmm. Not so fast! What? <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't know anymore. Oh my god, sorry, okay. Oh, laughter. Don't I deserve a chance to explain myself? Explain? What is there to explain? I believe I told you earlier that I went to the bathroom. Well, I got lost when I did. Oh, son of a- I wanted to ask for directions, but when I opened the dressing room door, no one was inside. And that's when I saw the name of the move on the whiteboard. You punk! Still trying to get out of this? Do you really think you can get away at this point? Mr. Edgeworth, is there anything you can do to stop him? Ugh. I don't have enough evidence on hand to do anything. I don't have the airtight evidence I need to put this man away for good. But if, if that's but if that's what I need, then perhaps. Agent Lang, I believe an investigation of the dressing room in question is in order. It's possible that we may find new evidence there. Oh! Yeah, if Mr. Edgeworth pokes around in there, I'm sure I'll find some fat new facts, pal. Oh, and if we use Little Thief, we may even learn learn something from a recreation. We don't need to do any, any of that. Oh, come on! <laughs> I want to use Little Thief again before this game is over. What? Wolfie, how could you? I'm not saying this to be mean. It's just that we've already searched there. My men really are something else. And they found nothing? There's only one thing I can say to you, sis, and it's that they found nothing. 
That's it. I guess you're right. If they found something, they would have reported it to us. Laughter. They couldn't find anything because there was nothing to find. And if there's no info on in to feed into the little thief, then I can't do much help either. Is this the end? The murder took place in the theater, which is not protected under extrater extraterritorial rights. And the fact that it was Mr. Alba himself who committed the murder. If I can't prove both statements to be true, Mr. Alba walks away a free man. Is there no other course of action left to us? It would appear that your hand of cards has been turned out to be a bust. Now, if you'll excuse me. Because of you people, I missed my flight. Now I must make haste to arrange for a new one. Ah! I swear to goodness, so that's Larry again. Who, who is it this time? Yes. Son of a- Yes. Yes. Okay, just for a little bit longer. This is a long episode, you guys. This may be the finale. I don't know. We're already at 40 minutes. Jared, we have a long while to go, don't we? Uh, uh, okay. Alright. Hold it right there, you whippersnappers! Oh, first Larry, now you! What is it with the scary mobster-like scowl on your face, Edgy Poo? Don't treat me like I'm some sort of nuisance. I've been meaning to say this, but all you keep- Oh, but you keep talking about things I don't get at all. You're all leaving this lady in the sad, depressing, lonely dust that I'm about to cry in. Why did you have to speak up right at this instant? But you know what, Teddy Poo? Cheer up! Because I'm about to give you the most wonderful thing. The most wonderful thing? From you? It's so super special that I couldn't give away to just anyone, you know. Oh, my special present of love to my sweet Edgy Poo. Are you ready? Is this? It's... Uh. Hmm. Hmm. It's a... Uh, a box of those samurai dogs, right? Yes! Oh, Edgy Poo, here you go. Eat one and you'll feel right as rain. Ugh. Hmm. Uh. Are we through here? Why did everyone get so quiet all of a sudden? Edgy Poo! Tell me you understand the depths of a lady's love for you! I'm not the one to hand out snacks willy nilly, you know. No, sir! The thought occurred to me that maybe it would be a good- okay. Yep. One day it's my dream to serve you as my own homemade food! Isn't that the desire of everyone to make their beloved going hungry? Is that what I can tell? Blah 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 Old lady stuff- Mr. Edgeworth! Can't you do anything about her? There's no power on earth that can force that woman into silence. <sighs> oh my god! But I'm so sick and tired of it! All of you people do is look down on me! Even this box of samurai dogs played me for a fool! If it had a special design on it, like a Japanese flag, so I thought it was special! But when I ate one, it tasted like all the rest! Oh, it made me just so mad! Wait, a special box with a Hinomaru-like fan on it? I've never heard of such a piece of merchandise existing before. However, there it is. The red rising sun on this fan is, is filled in. I is it possible? Could it be? After the show, the samurai dogs were piled up on the dressing room floor. However, there is no such thing as a rising sun dog. Oh, I forgot about logic. This contradiction of facts between something that should not exist and yet does. The rays from this rising sun may be just what we needed to point us in the right direction. A present? The studio big was facing the toilets to play delivery boys. We were supposed to hand the dogs up to the embassy people and tell them, Hi! I had to pile them all onto the push guard just to move them all. Oh. I believe you understand what this means, correct? You killed Mr. Coach at the theater and put placed his body inside the push cart. 
and then you force the steel samurai and unwillingly move the body. <laughs> it's time to piece the final pieces of this logic puzzle together. No matter how fragile small the connections may be, once we've found them all, the way to the truth will be revealed. Are you ready for last logic time? Yes! Yes, I am! And you think I'm gonna stop the episode here? <laughs> <laughs>